Today we're going to talk about not one, not two, but three products in three different videos. So if you're seeing one, there's two more. Today we're going to talk about the M4 iMac, M4 Pro Mac Mini, this guy over here, this guy, and then M4 Max MacBook Pro, which is a beast. Okay, let's begin with iMac. here it is this is a green iMac M4 with 24 inch nano texture display this green Hulk has 10 core CPU 10 core GPU 16 core neural engine 24 gigabyte unified memory and 1 terabyte of storage it comes with matching color cables USB-C magic mouse and magic keyboard and just like before it has the Ethernet connection on its power adapter it costs 2299 on regular Apple store and 2279 in education Education store. All right, when it comes to iMac M4's shape, the shape is the same, but the colors are different and they look fantastic. There was an Apple experience event that I went to, which was a really nice event. All the attention to detail was mind blowing. And I got to see all of these devices next to each other there. And I wasn't able to pick one. Each of them look gorgeous and I think it's all up to you. This is green, probably a color I would have never picked. This review unit is green and I love it. It's such a gorgeous green. I mean, look at this. Doesn't look like green, but then all of a sudden it looks like green. I like that it shifts color. Now let's talk performance. I tried a lot of apps and tried a lot of tests to give you as much as possible when it comes to the performance of this device. Let's begin with Geekbench. In multi-core score, M4 iMac performs better than M1 Max MacBook Pro and M2 Pro Mac Mini. In single core, it smokes anything that is not M4. However, in GPU score, it didn't do well. By the way, these devices have low power mode, so I switched to it to see how much it affects the Geekbench scores. In Geekbench AI, M4 iMac performs well. When it comes to Cinebench 2024, in GPU test, M4 iMac performs better than M2 Pro Mac Mini, and it performs really close to M1 Max MacBook Pro. In CPU Multi, this time it scores better than M1 Max MacBook Pro. And just like Geekbench, in single core, it smokes anything that is not M4. By the way, I also did a 30 minute stress test and none of these M4 machines slowed down. However, when it comes to disk speed, M4 iMac falls behind. These speeds are very similar to M1 iMac I had back in the day. In Final Cut Pro, when it comes to rendering, M4 iMac finishes last, but not by far. When it comes to exporting an 8K video, unfortunately, M4 iMac falls behind. Same result continues when I test the noise reduction. When it comes to compressor, while exporting an 83GB ProRes file to Apple devices 4K, M4 iMac performs better than M2 Pro Mac Mini, and we see very similar results on different export settings, even in H.265. I also exported a special song in Logic, and M4 iMac finished last. I think the slower storage may be causing this. When it comes to rendering in Blender, M4 iMac is ahead of M2 Pro Mac Mini and head-to-head -head with M1 Max MacBook Pro. I also did the same test in CPU mode just for funsies. Finally, in Lightroom, I exported 100 RAW photos taken with Sony A1 into a JPEG and M4 iMac finished last. 
However, when it comes to pasting edits, it did well. It still has the 24 inch 500 nits display. And I tested the brightness because now this comes with the nano texture display. And I have to tell you, nano texture display changes everything. Here's how, how I can summarize it. Normally, when you look at a regular screen like my XDR screen, now I realize that my eye is fighting to ignore the reflections. But when you have this nano texture display with matte finish, it means you don't see a lot of reflections. You feel like you see the image better. There's a little bit of, when you look at it with an angle, there's a little bit of wash off when it comes to the darks, the blacks. But other than that, it is fantastic. I, I highly recommend you to go and check it out. I don't think this is a nano texture, that's a nano texture, and this is a nano texture. And now when I switch back to my regular XDR, it feels like there's a lot of reflection in my face. Now this thing has a 12 megapixel camera instead of eight megapixel camera, and that supports desk view besides the center stage. Let's try it now. This is the center stage following me. And then what we can do now is we can switch to desk view. Let's tap that. And on desk view, as you can see, it shows you a little bit of preview. And uh, let's have this in the desk view. Maybe point it down a little bit more. And I have it here. So it's adjusted. And then we see, we can zoom in and out. This is great. Let me see. Yeah. And share desk view. Hey. hey, look at this. This is the brand new Magic Mouse. And it has a USB-C port now instead of the lightning port. But it's still at the bottom because they do not want you to charge it and use it at the same time. And I like that. I like the rebellious Apple design approach on this. Anyway, let's go to camera. As you can see, we can switch between cameras. We go to view, there's auto zoom, and then we can return back to setup. I, I see your cursor. You see the cursor now? Yeah, I've, I've seen it the whole time. Interesting. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Let's quit desk view. And I hope to, hope to see you during lunchtime. So when it comes to specifications, now iMac starts from 16 gigabyte of memory instead of eight. And that is all because of the Apple intelligence. These, all of these devices are built specifically for Apple intelligence. Sure, anything before this up to M1 works as well. But I think we're not seeing the full Apple intelligence yet, but when it becomes really good, then these devices gonna be a lot faster than the previous generation Apple computers. The highest storage you can get on an iMac is still two terabytes. You can get it with M4, but you cannot get it with M4 Pro or M4 Max. So I wish there was an iMac Pro with like a space black finish. So overall, I really like this device. It worked great when I pushed it. It didn't make any sound. It runs cooler. Hold on, hold on. So you have an M1 iMac. Yes. And uh, what do you do with it? Uh, I edit videos and graphics and I record music and do a ton of emails and admin stuff too with investing. Yeah. I don't think it's too slow. I don't think it's... You know, I don't really have any complaints. There's nothing that makes me go, oh, I need to upgrade, you know? Ah, and that's the thing. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Well, okay. thank you very much for your for your input. It's a genuine M M1 uh, iMac user. So, you know, it's legit. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Ra yeah, you're random citizen. I just dialed a number and then this person appeared. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, it's random oh. random citizen. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye.
Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think about iMac in the comment section below. And until I see you next time, take really good care of yourselves and hosh chakalut.